am Suzanne Smiley with AtlasRFDStore.com and we're here at RFD Journal Live at the Motorola booth and we have Carrie here to tell us a little bit more about Motorola and what y'all are doing here today. How are you doing? I'm doing well. We're having a great show here at RFID Journal Live and um, I'm Carrie Angelico with Motorola's Data Capture Solutions Group in Business Development and uh, this is a show that we come to every year um, seeing great results, lots of interest in RFID. Uh, Motorola has been in the RFID industry for quite some time, just about as long as you could have say RFID. We've been uh, doing something, and um, products have have improved greatly over the years. Lots of great innovation, and we hope to show you some of that in our booth today. Well, great. So you're kind of running the show, we have the biggest booth here, and there's constantly a bunch of people. So we're glad we could take some of your time to do this. It's great. Well, as a leader in the industry. Um, Motorola does take a, have a very big presence at this show. Um, we totally believe in RFID. Um, we are constantly developing new, new um, products and Motorola is constantly investing in R&D and um, we always have new products that are uh, being worked on and uh, a long road map of where we're going in the future with RFID. Well, Fabius, do you want to take us around your booth a little bit and show us what's going on? Sure. Altuff is one of our product managers who's been with the company for ages and uh, very familiar with our products that we have, and we're showing them at the product bar. Um, we show our products here. You can listen, hear about the functionality, capabilities, and then people can go out and see it being used in a solution with our partner, partner software. Um, so, Altaf, maybe you can just uh, briefly explain what we have, what we're showing here. Oh, certainly. Hi, Altaf. I'm Suzanne. Hi, Suzanne. How are you? You uh, can take us through what y'all have going on at the Motorola booth. Oh, perfectly. Um, <laughs> uh, what we have here is a broad portfolio of products for, uh, from an RFID standpoint, you know, both for um, industrial environments as well as uh, business class environments, enterprises, because uh, RFID has had uh, a wide spread of adoption into very different types of uh, applications in very different verticals. And so you need to be able to offer a portfolio that has the right fit for the right applications, right? right. And so we, we have an industrial uh, types of fixed reader, uh, industrial and business class of fixed readers to okay. address the market with fixed readers. We have mobile computers here. Mm -hmm. You know, both in terms of industrial form factors as well as uh, enterprise class, business class form factors. Uh, is we, that the 3190 that we just learned that is, about? That is 3190. Okay. And okay. as and as you know, you know, um, RFID is a technology from a you know fast uh, data capture perspective, and so um, and many other benefits with all the inherent properties of RFID. But it has really come as a step forward function from barcode world. Right, and so a lot of people are also transitioning from the barcode into the RFID space. Right. And so we obviously look at a product that gives you the marriage of a barcode and RFID and allows them to transition from that standpoint. So here's a product that ha allows you to do barcode scanning, imaging uh, through the 2D uh, scanning, as well as has an RFID piece in this built in. So it also captures the, the transition from, for people from barcode to RFID. And, and then we have supporting uh, accessories uh, okay. that we support for different applications that would, you know, that would allow you to uh, uh, build out uh, RFID zones. And then as, as we, you know, that's what we are showing here today and we are invested in RFID significantly in terms of the future vision that allows you to do things like, uh, just like wireless has evolved over the years and you get ubiquitous, seamless RFID. Well, we, we are invested in all those types of technologies that would allow you to be able to do things in the future, both in the enterprise as well as in your, you know, from all the way from manufacturing all the way down to the retail floor you know, through the supply chain. So our products look at it from, you know, ultimately, even though let's say the holy grail may start with an item level within retail, ultimately it goes to the manufacturing because people are vertically integrated right. to, and the supply chain. So we, we obviously cover it from, from uh, the point from manufacturing all the way into the retail floor. I'm sure it will probably end up in consumer home spaces someday as well. <laughs> just like Just like wireless has over a decade. And right. so we, I mean, so you know, so part of what we look at in terms of investment is, hey, what's three to five years out, and then what's the future function out there as well. And so we have an eye into that space as well. And so that's what our products do today. 
Yeah, well, can you take us through a little through the accessories? I know we have some Motorola antennas on our website. I'm sure our uh -huh. customers would like to learn a little bit more about that. Can you show us what you have standing up here? Yeah, certainly. Uh, on the accessory side, um, uh, the uh, some of the latest uh, form factors of the uh, uh, are these AN 620 antennas and 610 antennas. Flat, low profile, ideally suited for applications, uh, growing uh, new applications like point of sale applications. People uh, want to put them as, let's say, a picture frame in your uh, in your uh, aisles, you know, uh, walkways and stuff. So you can just uh, put them on very easily, like a picture frame. You can change your uh, artwork on the front. You know, you can have <laughs> messaging uh, as you may need. So that's those are some of the uh, uh, cool form factors. Also, many a times people want to put them. Uh, in places where there is very, you know, you want something that's very low profile, you don't have right. enough counter space. So those are ideally suited for those types of applications. Uh, we also um, have uh, the AN480 antenna, which is uh, a wideband antenna that covers the uh, entire frequency range response for worldwide operations. So, you know, whether you have operations up in, uh, you know, a manufacturing in China or a distribution through Europe and in U.S., that, Take same, that antenna with that you. antenna just does it all for any any of the regions and then for smaller form factors as well you know for uh, more focused targeted uh, applications uh, especially within retail all right well thank you so much all top we we love learning about the product bar and the new products that motorola has is there anything you want to add in there uh, the, the last thing i would say is you know the some of the best performance in the industry in terms of this uh, this is the highest performing reader in the market, the uh, FX9500. The buck stops here from a fixed reader performance standpoint, and so is our some of our uh, mobile computers in terms of form factor, ergonomics, and the productivity enhancements that it gives you uh, overall. So uh, performance, efficiency, productivity, it stops right here at Motorola. What else can you ask for? Yeah, well, thank you so much. I guess, Carrie, you're going to show us around to another booth. All right, Carrie, what booth are we at now? Okay, now we're at a, a Motorola demonstration pod where we like to just give people an idea of some of the things that they can do um, with our products. And we're going to speak with Mike, who is going to show an IT asset tracking solution. And remember the flat antennas you saw that Altoff showed you? We have those installed in this cabinet. So we like to show people, you know, exactly how they're being used when, when it's a unique uh, situation or a unique um, deployment of a product. So it's a good way to be able to show that the customer how it looks and how it works. All so right, Mike, fabulous. Well, Mike, can you tell us a little bit about what we have going on here? Sure. What we have here is we have a two-part system. We are using a fixed reader to first track the assets, um, verifying that all the assets that should be there are there. And if one is not, we can use the handheld to locate that item. So currently we have a file of all these assets, all these IT data tapes loaded into the system. So we're going to check them out for the day. You can see that we have, again, 40 loaded into the system. Okay. We have 39 seen and we're missing one. So if the item you're looking for is not in the, you know, in the vicinity, you can use the handheld with the Geiger counter function to help locate that item. Okay. It cannot get you, it may get you right on top of it, but at least get you into a defined area where you can find it. So All if we're right. scanning the room, you can see nothing is happening on the handheld. As you get closer to the area where you're working, you start to locate the item. If you get away and you miss it, we get closer to the area we're working. You know, again, it might be in the bush, it might be behind back, but we can search the cabinet. And as you get closer to the actual asset, not only is the audible, the visual as well will increase. To let wow. you know you're closer to that item or you have that exact item you're looking for. Well, fabulous, and then you can just put it back in here and it goes back to the scene Correct. category. So now we are missing, we are now missing zero and we have all 40 that we should have. All right, well, fabulous. All right, and what kind of antennas do we have under here? Uh, we have two AN620s and they are connected to the FX9500 industrial reader. Okay. Um, so again, the antennas have the capability to be placed on top of the table or underneath the table and have the power to broadcast through the table. All right, great. Well, thank you so much, Michael, and thank you for taking us through this IT tracking. No problem, thank We're you. We're going to talk about something different now. What do we have over here? We are. We're going to speak with Susan Flake, who is our retail specialist, and um, she's going to be showing our dressing room assistant, which is software that we have on an ET1 tablet in a dressing room. So, 
Susan. Hey Susan, how are you doing today? Fine, how are you? All right, well let's see what so, you have going on here. So I've picked out this dress. I want to go ahead and try it on in the fitting room. So I'll go ahead and hang it on the hanger and automatically it recognized the product that I just brought in. It shows me the additional colors. It's available in pink and it's also available in green. Gee, green's pretty neat for spring. I'll go ahead and try it in a size four and request that somebody bring that to me. Wow, so, okay. In addition to that, I can get a full description of the product and also play a video that matches the product line and what they sell as a brand. This is all user-driven content, so it's all configurable to the brand itself. Additionally, I can see matching products and scroll. And gee, I like that necklace. I'll go ahead and request that to be brought to me as well. And, and they'll just happens, bring it on to your, to your fitting room while you're in there. Yeah, what happens is one of our uh, associates gets paged on one of their smart badges or one of our other handheld terminals, and they go and pick, select the product and bring it back to you in the fitting room. Additionally, I've tried the dress on now. I like it, it fits, it's cute. So now I can go mobile. And what, let, what this allows me to do is to go ahead and scan my QR code. Open up my browser. And from here, I've transferred all of that data to my phone now. From here, I can go ahead and add it to my wish list, buy it, which is tied to my loyalty card and turn to my debit, or I can share it social networking on Facebook, Twitter, in this type. I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna pin it on my Pinterest board. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and pin it. And I wanna see my pin, and this is all live. And there it is on my Pinterest board. Well, that is so cool. Now, what kind of Motorola products are you using for this specific demonstration? This is our ET1 Android-based product and an FX7400 reader with an AN610 antenna. Well, great. Well, Susan, thank you so much for taking some time to show us this around the here at the Motorola booth. Is there anything else you'd like to tell us today at RFID Journal Live about Motorola? Well, I think um, the most important thing is understanding the benefits that everyone can get from RFID. Um, we know this. We've been trying to get the word out. Our partners have been getting the word out. The efficiencies, productivity, accuracy improvements, uh, increase in sales, increase in customer satisfaction are tremendous. They are exponential over other data capture technologies. And in addition to end users that are interested in RFID, Motorola is always looking for new software vendors, integrators, resellers that would like to uh, sell RFID and um, create RFID solutions. Uh, there's a lot of business, a lot of growth in RFID, and we're hoping that shows like this will bring everyone in, the end users, the resellers, and uh, get this uh, the adoption going for RFID. At Motorola, we really understand that business, and our partners do. Um, we really are hoping that everyone that sees this understands RFID a little better, and when they want to look for quality products, high-performing products, with a, with a uh, business that has the most experience and knowledge and future uh, innovations, uh, come to Motorola. Well, at Atlas RFID Store, we love selling Motorola products, and they're always quality. So thank you for taking us around. Thank you.